Faith Church, hope you are doing well and staying dry on this really wet week. Um, as we mentioned in the email yesterday, that if there's any needs that you have during this stormy season, um, whatever it might be, I hope you'll you'll uh, contact either one of us as on staff or your deacon or life group or somebody so that we can make sure we care for each other. Um, also hope you've had a, a joyous Christmas and New Year celebration. Um, so good to be gathered during this last season with you all. Um, I, I was uh, personally had a, had a really great time away last week, was able to officiate the wedding for Emily Bush. Many of you know Emily who grew up in this church and her parents are Wena and Lee and that was just a highlight for me of this season. Um, anyway, looking forward to being back with you um, this Sunday. Uh, and we're gonna have a uh, kind of a family conversation as a church not starting this Sunday, but in, in the next couple of uh, months, January and February, uh, when our family has had really important discussions, it's been important for us, uh, the six of us or seven of us now, including my son-in-law, for us all to be together. Um, when it's something critical, we want everyone at the table, everyone to hear the same conversation so that everyone is informed as we make a decision on how to move forward. and. I think the church is 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 kind of the same way. Um, the, the, we're going to have a really important conversation starting Sunday about what it means for God to call us as a church out beyond ourselves to to bear witness, to share good news in our world, and to serve those in our world who are in a hard place. And um, it feels to me, I think this is spirit led that this is the season for us to have this conversation. Part of the reason I think that is because I, I just continually hear from a lot of you um, a, a, a desire, a burden, if you will, even on your hearts to, to know how, how we are called as God's people to go beyond ourselves and to address the needs, both spiritual and material, that we see in us around this world as close in our own neighborhood and as far away as places like East Africa. Um, and so we're going to have this conversation and I, it just feels like it, it's something we need everyone to be a part of. And so um, I want to ask you to make a commitment this new year to, to be engaging with us on Sunday mornings. Um, it's always the case. And a part of the problem in the church is when lots of people aren't regularly in that pattern of being with us on Sunday morning. I think Sunday mornings is a time when God wants to speak a message to our church and if half the family's not there it's it's kind of hard to move forward from that and so would you along with me make a commitment um not just these two months but certainly ongoing but starting these two months to really if, if you haven't been to be here with us and let's think together i don't really know where this conversation is going to lead us uh, i don't have a as i'll say sunday i don't have a a master plan that will be revealed here? I don't know. I just sense that this is what God wants us to think about in this season. Um, I will say as well, you know, you've heard this from me before, but um, if if you're in a place right now where you're comfortable being out in, in public, going to restaurants and dinner with friends and things like that, but still kind of comfortable on your couch on a Sunday morning, um, or watching us on YouTube later in the week, I, I really would encourage you to make this new year a marking point to come back and, and worship with us in person. It's, there's so many reasons why um, gathering in person face-to-face -face is uh, so far superior to, to watching online. I certainly recognize that some of us, some of you um, are not in that place yet. You're really being cautious, not just in gathering for worship, but in all of life. And, would encourage you to continue to do so. And uh, others of us certainly can't come for different reasons and be here in person, but would uh, encourage the rest of us to uh, turn that corner and, and be here present. Um, I am glad to be with you and excited to be back with you Sunday. It's, it's uh, a little known holiday in the church called Baptism of the Lord Sunday. It always follows uh, Christmas, and this is a time to celebrate, remember, Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. And that event actually has some strong connections, I think, to what we're going to talk about. Um, if you want to read the text ahead, it's we're going to look at uh, Matthew's account of Jesus' baptism, which, which is at the end of Matthew chapter 3. So, 
Looking forward to being with you wherever you are today. I hope you're dry and safe. Also hope that you, more than that, hope you are experiencing the love of God who is your Father and the grace of Christ, His Son, and the presence with you of God through the Holy Spirit. Peace.